Hey, young scientists, welcome to today's enriching sessions of 3D questions from Steam Spirations. I'm Mr. Lara, excited to guide you through the fascinating principles of force and motion. Today, we'll investigate how changing the angle of a ramp affects the distance a toy car travels. If you'd like a refresher on this topic, make sure to click the link at the top right corner for additional resources. Whether you're just starting or aiming to deepen your knowledge, this session is crafted to broaden your understanding. Let's start our scientific exploration of forces at work. For today's activity, let's design a simple experiment to observe the effects of changing the ramp angle on the distance the toy car travels. Here's your task. Think about how the angle of the ramp affects the distance the toy car travels. How does increasing or decreasing the angle influence the force acting on the car and the distance it moves? As you consider this, think about these key questions. How will you measure the distance traveled by the toy car after it leaves the ramp? What tools might you need to accurately measure the angle of the ramp? How might different surface types, for example, smooth and rough, affect the movement of the toy car? Now let's understand more about how force and motion interact. The angle of the ramp affects the gravitational force acting on the toy car, which in turn influences its speed and distance traveled. By varying the ramp angle, we can observe how these factors influence the car's motion. Reflect on how you would conduct this experiment. Adjust the angle of the ramp to different levels. Use a ruler or measuring tape to measure the distance traveled by the toy car. Record the angle of the ramp and the corresponding distance traveled by the car. Now let's evaluate our understanding with a key question. Which factor is most important for determining how far the toy car travels when the ramp angle is adjusted? A. The height of the toy car. B the type of ramp surface, C, the angle of the ramp, D, the weight of the toy car. Here are some guiding questions for answer choices. How would the height of the toy car affect its movement down the ramp? What does this tell us about its center of gravity? B, how does the surface type of the ramp affect the distance the toy car travels? What role does friction play? C. How does changing the angle of the ramp influence the speed and distance traveled by the toy car? What can this reveal about the relationship between angle and motion? D. In what way does the weight of the toy car influence its movement? How can measuring weight help in comparing different trials? Select the correct option and proceed to Part B. Here's your question for Part B. Why is understanding this factor crucial in studying the effects of force on an object? A. It helps us understand how the car's height affects its speed. B. It shows the impact of different ramp surfaces on movement. C. It illustrates the relationship between ramp angle and distance traveled. D. It explains how the car's weight affects motion dynamics. Here's some guiding questions for our answer choices. A. How does the height of the toy car affect its speed and distance traveled? What insights does this provide about its center of gravity? B. How do different ramp surfaces impact the toy car's movement? What does this tell us about friction and resistance? C. Why is it important to understand the relationship between ramp angle and distance traveled? How does this measurement illustrate that relationship? D. How does the weight of the toy car influence its speed and distance traveled? What does this tell us about the dynamics of motion? Now let's engage with the concept. Reflect on how the ramp angle affects the movement of the toy car. Consider the implications of this experiment in everyday life and how understanding force and motion enhances your perception of physical interactions. Further engage with the concept. Consider how different civilizations might have used their understanding of ramps and angles in constructing buildings or moving large objects. Reflect on how modern technology, like transportation systems, relies on our understanding of force and motion to function efficiently. Discuss how this knowledge has been historically applied in engineering and design. Be sure to document your observations, insights, and responses in your level up workbook. This exercise not only enriches your knowledge of physical sciences, but also sets the stage for more advanced scientific explorations. Keep attending our sessions for more insights into the natural world. Let's continue to discover and learn together.